Now there's another form of SMI suppression that involves some registers called TCO for total cost of ownership uh, registers. And so typically TCO stuff was used for a bunch of miscellaneous functionality around things like uh, detection of intrusion into a chassis of a you know desktop system, things like that, cause a system management interrupt that SMI code could say, oh, I see someone broken, you know, or wipe the secrets, whatever. And uh, so basically there's a way to set and enable here to zero and similar to setting this enable to zero that will cause suppression of TCO SMIs, but it turns out that the hardware that's used for TCO stuff is also used for this uh, BIOS lock enable. So there is also a TCO lock that goes along with that, similar to this SMI lock, and that is how this can be prevented from being written to zero. And then while we're here, we'll just say that you could also defend this with Intel BIOS Guard or SMM BWP, as with this other suppression attack. So this was just mentioned offhandedly by uh, some Intel researchers when they were doing a survey paper at DEF CON to talk about the different types of attacks that were known at the time. So they referenced this, you know, Charizard attack from our work, and then they said, by the way, there's another variant, which is if you disable TCO SMI sources, specifically by clearing SMI enable, TCO enable, then it won't actually lock the BIOS lock enable. The BIOS lock enable will not effectively work. So I was kind of curious about this uh, before the class, and so I pinged Yuri Belijin on uh, Twitter to ask him to really confirm that this was true, and he said, yes, this is definitely true. So I went off and tried it on one of these Dell Optiplex 7010s that we've been referencing through the class, and it turns out it had exactly the configuration that I needed because it was defended against this because it had the SMI lock set, so you couldn't use this attack, but it was not defended against this because it didn't have the TCO lock set. So these are the relevant registers. So SMI enable as before, TCO enable is just a thing that if set to zero means there's no TCO SMIs, and it just turns out that those, you know, despite not really saying it anywhere, uh, Yuri basically confirmed that the little hardware block inside of the PCH that um, is used for TCO, TCO events also is the same hardware block that's used for SMIs related to BIOS write protection. So TCO enable, an attacker would want to set that to zero, and then the SMIs would not fire, and that can be prevented by setting TCO lock over in some other register.